Welcome everyone to another episode of the Average Desi Joe. So today I'm gonna try to restore these really, really, as my kids would call it, crusty and musty uh, headlights of a Honda Odyssey. Now again, these both these lights, as you can see, hopefully you can tell, it is extremely in extremely bad condition. This is a 2008 uh, Honda Odyssey, so it's been quite a while since they have been cleaned and maybe the left one's a little bit worse than the right one but in either case we're gonna try to use two cleaners one is the new lens which costs about 30 costs between 24 and 34 dollars uh, I paid actually 34 dollars at the Napa Auto Parts although I could have bought it from Amazon for only 24 bucks uh, and, and on my other corner is my trusty WD-40 can um, as you know it can be used for a variety of items and I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube uh, so I figured you know might as well give it a try as well now so let's see which one wins will it be the new lens so in the left corner or a trusty WD-40 in the right corner well let's get started and find out all right folks uh, to get started uh, just wanted to show you what comes in this box uh, you have the different uh, grits of sandpaper you have the 800 the 1500 and the 3000 it comes with the attachment tool it's actually pretty cool because it makes it easier to attach the just stick the sandpaper to it and then this thing just goes into the drill now this drill machine is something that either you need to buy or need to have uh, so just keep that in mind and this is just uh, just a spray bottle with some plain water that they've uh, requested in the direction so that's what we have on the left corner uh, and obviously you know the general items like the microfiber uh, for cleaning and some painters tape to tape around the lens now on the right corner we have WD-40 our trusty WD-40 some paper towels uh, to spray the WD-40 on and just rub it uh, and then you have the painter's tape and the microfiber towel uh, for cleanup so we are gonna tape both of these lights around it and as well as I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if there's a tape in the middle so we try to clean one side and see what the difference is uh, and we'll try to do the same thing on this side and see what the results are so first we're gonna match figure see if the either of these items actually products work uh, before and after and then compare the results between the two as well so let's see I'm excited let's see what happens all right folks so I have taped both lights and again like I said I taped it in half we try to clean this side first try to compare the results between the new lens product like you know before and after so we'll have a good comparison and then we do the same thing on the right side so that we can compare when I put WD-40 versus the area where there's no WD-40 to see if there is any difference. And then we can compare both, both the lights to see which one actually worked. So let's get started with the WD-40 first. All right, so I've taken some paper towel and i am gonna spray some wd-40 on it and then simply gonna start wiping the front of the light all right so now as you can see it definitely cleaned up uh pretty decently there's some uh took off a lot of the gunk on it uh which is quite surprising actually how easy it was i mean you can still see the scratches uh but a lot of it is actually looks much better the left versus the right which is quite incredible uh how well this thing worked. Uh, let's, try, let's try some more. Okay. Um, again, uh, just clean wipes 
wipe, wipe it all off. Uh, and now I'm gonna see how well the other thing works. Now there's, there's of course, there's a lot more work on the other side. Uh, so let's see how, how the new lens product works now. All right, now we're starting with the new lens. Uh, so what I've done is I've basically attached the 800 grit paper and it's as easy as that easy as putting it attaching it in a circular in a perfect way and then what all they're asking to do is spray with some water so I'm gonna spray it with some water and uh, simply start uh, Simply start uh, sanding it slowly. Let's see what happens. Looks like there's a lot of gunk that's coming out. Which is a good sign. Well, it's a little hard to manage, especially when you're doing it the first time and. Uh, not a very handy person, but still learning. Wow. All right. Wipe away the gunk. Spray some water. There should be an even haze. Well, looks like there's some uneven haze, so might as well do a little bit more. Again, learning as we go on. Ready. Now, I'm not pressing it too hard, just pressing it enough where it's making making enough contact. Alrighty, let's try this again. Wipe it off. Looks like a much better haze. That's what they're saying. Alright, so we are good with this feel like this looks like we can move on to the next step and the next step is again basically taking getting rid of the 800 grid paper and attaching the 1500 grid paper again pretty simple just sticks to it and again same thing Plus water. Liberal amounts of water. So, a lot of water. And then, we start again with the 1500 grid paper attached. Oops. Uh, you guys might be able to do this in a much easier or better manner, but uh, let's see if this works. All right, so now we're done with the 1500 grid paper. Now we have to attach the 3000 grid paper, but we have to make sure that the lens is not wet is interesting so it seems like a change in scenario so now we're gonna grab this 
take that out attach the 300 grit paper so again you simply attach the 300 3000 grit paper and sorry not 300 3000 and they want to make sure the surface is dry hold the flat okay let's try this Almost done with this. Hopefully it doesn't make it worse. <laughs> Looks like an even haze as they're asking for. All right, now they simply say wipe it off again. Okay, and now, now the next step is touching the bowl or the, what they call the plastic, the power bowl foam polishing tool. Yep, so we attach that. All right, our final step is basically attaching this uh, this power ball polishing tool uh, to the drill machine and then using uh, the polish that came with it uh, they basically say put in like a nickel nickel amount and again I'm just putting hopefully I don't know what that means but I'm <laughs> just gonna apply apply some in the middle as you can see hopefully uh, that we put it in the middle and now simply just go back and forth with the drill and hopefully some magic happens all right I am gonna try a little bit more doesn't seem like that was uh, nickel size so let's see right. hopefully that works uh, let's see let's find out all right uh, that's what I have so far definite uh, definitely a big change between the two uh, you can definitely see the one on the right a lot more shinier much more clearer on the left uh, looks uh, just terrible now <laughs> that actually looks pretty bad so now you can see the difference and if we compare this to what we did on the wd-40 again the haze and everything the right side still all crusty musty but the left side even though we added the wd-40 it looks like they're still very hazy not as clean and clear as this one again it could be the polish uh, but again it's uh, something to keep in mind uh, i'm gonna try it again maybe try it step one through one through four again see if i can make this a little bit more brighter uh, and we'll show you the results. All right, so that's the light. And now all we need to do is basically clean it with a microfiber, microfiber cloth. And compare the two. So 
it looks like it worked. Uh, again, I don't know if uh, it worked perfectly, but it uh, definitely made a difference. Let's see if maybe cleaning some of that stuff helps. I mean, some of there's a, there's a bunch of scratches. I mean, this is an old car. Lights are in pretty bad condition, but uh, I think it definitely made a difference. Let's go see if hopefully the sun is not shining too brightly and obscuring the difference. Definitely looks like uh, a big change. Uh, there is definitely all this. All this mustiness down here that is gone uh, so I think it works uh, it does take a bit of an effort and it's not the perfect solution but it definitely makes a difference uh, WD-40 I don't know about that uh, looking at it again there is uh, I mean it's not it's not as clean but it's so much easier and it does it does do its job uh, it definitely removed a lot of the mustiness without any of the tools uh, so so there you have it folks uh, right corner WD-40 left corner new lens uh, 30 24 to 34 dollars versus a four dollar and your trusty WD-40 let me know which one you think actually worked uh, this one definitely I feel like it's uh, the new lens gives us like a more longer lasting uh, will give a more longer lasting look uh, much more cleaner uh, so let's see let's see how long this lasts so don't forget to subscribe and like my videos uh, and we will continue seeing uh, how this thing pans out and I'm gonna finish uh, the light on this side uh, and then go on the other side as well have a great day all right folks I finished the, the full light this time uh, looks looks actually pretty good uh, the crustiness mustiness all the the, the the just the crap that was on it it's all gone uh, if you look at it how it actually looked like hopefully the shadows and the sun is not uh, blurring the image but uh, you can see how bad this stuff is on this side and even with the WD-40 I mean that's a big difference but still I feel like it's this looks a lot more cleaner uh, than using the WD-40 uh, again big difference but I feel like the new lens may just be the winner. I mean, the biggest problem is just taping this thing. And just like uh, when you're painting anything, uh, it's just a pain uh, to tape anything. I wish they would make more of a flexible tape, which would just go around, which somehow we could just go around rather than breaking pieces off. And uh, that just causes more work. Uh, and obviously with WD-40, just spray on and it's clean with the new lens uh, you have a lot more work to do uh, and you need uh, you need to put some muscle in behind it as well so there you have it folks now I'm gonna just finish off the other one as well uh, and get moving but uh, so far oh just one more thing you see a few drops happen uh, that's just coming from the the liquid polish the magic polish but you can easily get wiped out. Uh, again, the difference between the WD-40 and the new lens. Big difference. Being more professional looking, uh, I think it's worth the extra 20 bucks uh, that you would pay. And uh, you know, a little bit more time. Relative, relatively easy directions, but overall, uh, I, I like this product. Uh, it seems to have worked. Alright, so like and subscribe and have a great day.